Okay, so this is the third time the kids and I have tried to make this video because I don't like videoing and I suck at it. Um, we've decided to start telling y'all stuff on video instead of typing it out on Facebook because it takes too long. So as a family, we're going to start telling you the stuff that goes on in our world and we're just going to give you a little load. We're just going to lay out yesterday, okay? So yesterday morning, I'm at an IEP meeting for one of my children. And in that IEP meeting, I get another telephone call from a teacher telling me that one of my other children has decided to touch another kid's hiney, as if that's acceptable in some way. And so I go to that school and I deal with that problem and I bring that child home. While I was at the school, um, I had recovered a fidget spinner that had been taken away from my kid. And a parent of all things goes, can I look at that? I'm wondering what all of the, what all the fuss is about. And I said, sure, when you're done with it, just set it down next to you. I'm going to walk in here and talk to this teacher. That woman jacked my kid's fidget spinner. Are you kidding me? You're a grown woman. I mean, whatever. Moving on. So we come home and things um, are relatively normal throughout the day. Actually, we went back to my job. We spent the day at work. Then we came home. When we came home, the kids decided they wanted to go for a walk, two of them. So they take off down the street, and I realize it's kind of dusky dark, and I want my oldest one to go get them. So he jumps on the four-wheeler with a friend. He goes down the road to pick them up, and while they're down there, I have no doubt he was driving too fast, and they were somehow loud and acting stupid because they're my children, and we always have to have a little extra something going on. Um, so this... Levi's down there getting his brother and sister, and I guess he was on the four-wheeler, and his friend jumped off and went to walk with the kids and was saying something funny and running away from the, my son. And then another one yelled back, Don't worry, I won't let him take you. At this point, somebody um, pops out with a flashlight and a gun at my kid and proceeds to want to know what he's doing. And so... I guess my kid handled it okay and explained what that those were his siblings and I just sent him down there to get him and he was sorry he was driving the four-wheeler too fast and they wouldn't be back on his road and he was apologetic and handled it. I guess he handled it fine because they all came home and no harm done. But because I'm the mother that I am and somebody pulled a gun on my kid, I went to this man's house to ask him, what are you, what? Because it's kind of illegal to pull a firearm on someone unless... Um, they're using deadly force against you. Um, so I go down there, and the man is evidently an Oklahoma City police officer, which would make you think he would handle it a little different. But he was an Oklahoma City police officer, and um, he had it with him when he answered the door for me as well, which that's his prerogative. I asked him, what What are you doing? Like, what are you thinking? Did you have an altercation with like, some kids on a four-wheeler? Like, what are you thinking? And so he proceeded to tell me, in all honesty, um, he walked out and he heard, don't worry, I won't let him take you, and a four-wheeler zipping by. And he didn't really know what he was approaching, so he approached it in an offensive manner. Um, to be honest, if there was somebody outside in front of my house screaming like that, I may have, I wouldn't have pulled my weapon, but I would have likely had something to protect myself while thinking I was trying to protect someone else. So, whatever. We made friends. All is well. It got resolved. <clears throat> Come home, barely get laid down, and I get a message on my messenger of a picture of my son's van that is being plastered all over social media as a thief because he drives this creepy van. Granted, the van is very creepy. Um, it was very cheap, and it runs, and that's awesome. Therefore, it's cool. And he's 18, and it is cool for an 18-year-old, um, but it's creepy, really creepy. And uh, so anyways, he got lost on the way to a friend's house. He pulled over on the side of the road. They're on the phone with the friend, even in the picture, on the phone with this friend trying to figure out where they are. They were on the wrong street two streets with the same name and evidently east and west or something I don't know while he's out there pulled over on the side of the road somebody thinks he's up to no good takes a picture of him tells somebody he was doing something he actually wasn't and then plasters it all over Facebook saying hey keep your eye out for this van they were trying to get something out of my work truck 
multiple times. So Levi himself calls the police and says, that was me in that van. Um, I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was looking for a house. I was lost. I was on the wrong street. I message the man that has the Facebook post up and I tell him I'm his mother. This is what he was doing. This is my phone number. This is his phone number. If you have any questions, you know, so be it. Well, I don't think he believed me quite. So he left the post up and people proceeded to say, hey, I know that kid. He's a good kid. But there were other people who were making some very hateful comments. Um, nonetheless, today the post has been taken down. Um, but it was a stressful night because, you know, he had to leave here and go take his friends home in that said van while the cops that were supposedly looking for him, which makes a mother very uncomfortable. And then on his way home, I get another phone call. Hey, Mom, I'm going to be late. And I said, why? Well, my brakes just went out. This is a half-ton vehicle. And this child is my child. And he is now driving home a huge Chester the Molester wanted van with no brakes. So needless to say, I was at very late waiting for him to get home and make sure he was alive and in one piece. And that was our day. Um, one day. It took six minutes and 25 seconds to lay that out for you. But that was one day of our world. Sometimes parenting is hard and sometimes it sucks and sometimes your kids are going to make bad decisions and sometimes other people are going to do things to your kids that you can't control. Um, but life went on. Life is fine. Everybody's good. He's a little nervous about people knowing his van and watching him, but as a mother, I'm not too upset because that means all of you know it's him and all of you are going to call me and tell me what he's doing. Um, that's good. So the weather's coming in and we're going to go. Um, Y'all have a good night.